Today we'll show you how to charge a lot of 18650 cells at the same time using an RC battery charger and in this case a Tonigy AccuCell charger. And if you have something like an iMax B6 it would be the same. Let's get started. So recently I've been salvaging a lot of these 18650 cells and I need to find a way to charge them quickly. I do have some 18650 chargers but they are really slow charger and I can only charge two cells at a time. So if I have many cells like this it will take like forever to charge them. I was looking for an alternative and saw many people use the TP4056 circuit boards to charge these batteries. Now these boards are good alternatives and they are cheap. However, I can only charge one cell at a time using each board and I would also need a 5 volt power supply and an 18650 cell case to hook up the battery to the board and that's a lot of parts needed and a lot of work just to charge one cell so, so I've been thinking there has to be a better faster and cheaper way to charge my 18650 cells without having to go through all this hassle so here's the plan I use a thin aluminum sheet and cut it to get two long strips. Then I line up the batteries in parallel. Then I use magnets to stick onto the battery so that it will hold the aluminum strips onto the battery. And then I just power my tonnage and charge it using the 1S option at 4.2 volts and that's it. Depending on how many cells I'm charging, I set the charging current accordingly. They're in parallel so the current would be evenly divided. Like in this case I have 9 cells so I just set the current to 6 amp which is the maximum current my Tonichi charger can handle. If you do the math 6 divided by 9 equals 0 0.67 amp or 667 milliamp. That's a very typical charging current for 18650 cells. In this case I can even go much higher than that because these are high discharge cells. So charging them this way in parallel, I don't even have to worry about balancing them because they will balance themselves as they are in parallel. Also the cells don't have to be at the same voltage either because the cells with higher voltage will kind of charge the cell with lower voltage and will eventually balance out. And there's virtually no limit as to how many cells I can charge at the same time. And I can cut a very long aluminum strip and I can charge hundreds of these cells all at the same time, at least in theory, it just takes me longer to charge. But if you have a lot of 18650 cells to charge, this is a lot more efficient than any other method that I have ever used before. Alright, so just a quick video of my new ideas and I thought I would share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.